Hi guys, it's Shell with Little Acres Creations, Creative Shell Bear. And today we are just going to make a little, um, a little necklace using this cute little brass teapot that I picked up from G's Embellishment Emporium. Now, um, right now until Sunday the 24th, G has his brass pieces 50% off. So, in order to... <laughs> In order to take advantage of his sale, I need to use some of the stuff that I already have. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what is so special about this little teapot. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we have a hole that goes straight through from the top to the bottom. So, we're going to work on that. What I'm using is just gold plated 20 gauge wire. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make an eye hook. So, in order to make that, you need a pair of um, round nose pliers. So, just pull it towards you and then push it away from you. And then reposition your wires and you're just going to bring that and just twist it around your wire. And you have your eye hook or your eye, eye pin. And we want this because we're going to make some, put some dangles at the end of the, um, on the end of the pendant. Okay, so now what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and thread that through. And let me show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use these little end caps. There it is. <laughs> Aren't those so pretty? Gareth also sells those at his store. And I believe they're on sale also because they are brass. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and thread those through. I'm going to thread, I found a really pretty bead. And you just have to kind of thread it through. And it is kind of fiddly, but if you work with it, you can certainly make it work. And then we have another end cap for the top. You just need to pull it down just enough so you don't lose your bead. And your bead cap fits. There we go. And there we have it. Isn't that so cute? I just love that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I need to kind of make a little opening for our chain. So again, I'm just going to use my needle nose, my round nose pliers, and I'm going to push it away from me reposition my pliers and we're going to wrap it around just so we have like two loops so it's good and sturdy okay like that and then we're just going to wrap those wrap it again around our wire there we go Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to use my flush cut pliers. We're going to cut that off and then see that little barb? There's a little barb on there and you just want to kind of squish that in. That way, if you give this as a gift, you don't want it snagging on someone's clothes or sweater. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now our chain is going in the top. So I want it to go, the opening to go left to right, but the bottom, I want it to be straight. So I have that, and then I kind of want this, I'm going to twist this. That way, because we're going to put dangles on here, and that way we can see our little dangles. And that looks good. And it's pretty sturdy. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now for the dangles, again I'm going to use or 20 gauge wire. Just cut off like a three inch piece. It doesn't have to be too big. Now, if you had, you know, like gold eye pins or head pins, you could certainly use those. But I have tons of wire and sometimes, you know, I just make my own more than not. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to the very end 
because I want really tiny loops for this. So I'm going to connect, do a little loop, see how we have our little circle, and then come back to the other side and flip it around the other direction like this. And then we have our little pin. And this, you know, this keeps our beads from falling off, but it also adds like a little design element. Isn't that cute? Okay, so on this one, this is going to be one on the on the outside. I'm just going to put a little um, kind of pearl bead, and then I have a little teeny green bead. It's probably I think this one's like a six, and this one's probably like a four millimeter. I can see the hole. Okay, and that's that's all there is to that one. Okay, and so I'm going to do the same thing that we did. We're going to make an eye um, pin, but this one we're going to attach it. So let me show you. Kind of re rearrange your pliers. Okay, and we know we want this on this, so we're just going to attach this. Just pull it through. Hold your little circle and then we're just going to wind it around again and it's really easy you know and it just is so cute and to give somebody you could give this for a Christmas present someone's birthday and you can match you know put their favorite colors on just depends on what kind of beads you have I had to put green in there <laughs> because green is my favorite color. Okay. Sometimes you just kind of have to mess with it. There we go. Again, you want to make sure there's nothing to snag anything on. Okay, and then the, there's our first dangle. And I thought it would be really cute to have two dang or three different dangles because I do like the odd dangles. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to do the same thing for the head pin. Kind of do my little twist there. Have my circle. I'm going to come back and do this other circle. And it's going to go straight through like this. And this one, I'm going to do the middle. And I'm going to do a tiny little green bead. Okay, and I'm going to do a pink bead. This is just a little bit smaller than the one in the center. I'm going to do an off-white bead or another pearl bead. Oops. And another green bead. And this will give us a little bit of length to our dangles, and I thought that would be really cute. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and attach that. To our necklace. And I'm going to just make sure it's on the right side of it. These are real simple once you get the hang of it and you've done it for a while. It's really not that difficult. But it does take some getting used to, you know. Especially if you're not familiar with doing jewelry. Snip it. You always want to double check for your little edge. Make sure it's tucked under or in. So it doesn't snag. That one's a little bit difficult here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to do one more. Because I do like things in three, I think it kind of adds, you know, quite a bit to our projects. Again, I'm going to make the same eye hook, the same head pin. You probably have this down by now. 
there's all different kinds of head pin, decorative head pins that you can make. Just do a search on the internet. Okay, and then like that. And then this one is going to have a green, a pearl, and another green one. Okay, and then we're going to put that one on. This comes together really fast. This is I'm doing all this in real time, and it's only been uh, about 11 minutes. So it doesn't take long to do these. You could really, you know, make a whole bunch for a church group or something like that if you wanted to. Okay. And just wind that up. And we just want to make sure, again, that we don't have anything that's going to snag. That's probably the most important part. <laughs> okay, and there we go. And you can do any colors you want. If you're not into, you know, pastels, then by all means, you know, use some really bright colors. So, and then to finish it off, look at this beautiful chain that is also from G's Embellishment Emporium, and it's also brass. So I'm just going to thread that through and it fits just perfectly. And then you can just do, you know, whatever size necklace you'd like to do. So if you want it 20 inches, then just cut it, you know, at 20 inches. So what do you guys think? I think it turned out so cute. I like the color combination, the gold and the brass. I think it goes really well together. And I really like this. I think it's very cute. So head on over to G's Embellishment Emporium and check out his sales, 50% off on his brass uh, products until uh, Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to see it if you give this a try. Uh, come join us at Little Acres Creations on Facebook. I'd love to see any of your uh, recreations. So thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a blessed day.